You're looking at New Orleans, home to the oldest living American who served in World War II. This year, we marked the 75th anniversary of D-Day, the Allied invasion of Normandy that ultimately led to Germany's surrender. Today, fewer than half a million American World War II veterans who served in Europe, the Pacific, and other places are still alive. CBS This Morning Saturday co-host Michelle Miller was just with the oldest American vet as he celebrated his 110th birthday. Wow. Now, Michelle, that's quite a party. It was quite a party, and he is quite alive. Lawrence Brooks was born on September 12, 1909, and he, I got to tell you, is quite the character. He credits his good health with long walks and chewing gum, a habit he used to replace cigarettes. When we celebrated with him yesterday, he learned, we learned that the super centenarian is something of a local celebrity. Morning. You know, you're my hero. When you've been on the planet as long as Lawrence Brooks has, you develop a following. You're going to have fun today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At 110, he's the oldest American World War II veteran, a feat worthy of pomp, circumstance, and a five star serenade at the war's National Museum. Happy birthday to you. What is the secret to your success? I always love people. I love people. And people love Lawrence Brooks. That's why so many of them showed up to celebrate, even strangers. Thank you. God bless her. From 1941 to 1945, Brooks served overseas with the predominantly African American 91st Engineer Battalion in places like Australia and New Guinea. He was a reluctant soldier, opting instead to work as a cook in his unit. When I first went, was drafted in the, in the army, the old sergeant was telling us, you got to get training so you can go kill people. Kill people, you mean, as much as I love people, you tell me I got to go kill them? After returning home to New Orleans, Brooks faced the challenge of the Jim Crow South. Then more than a half century later, Hurricane Katrina threatened his life and took his wife's. Hurricane Katrina took everything I own. Wash away everything. And yet you survived that too? Yeah, I survived that too. Yeah. The Lord was just good to me. <laughs> My daddy still get on his knees at night and pray. Brooks' daughter Vanessa credits her father's diet, exercise, and Happy faith birthday. for his long life. And in some ways, it's prayer that made this celebration possible. I heard that he was an old vet. And I said, well, we need to do something at the World War II Museum. Museum docent Lee Crane met Brooks years ago at church and helped launch the now annual museum party in 2014. It's a tradition employees hope won't end anytime soon. Happy birthday. We asked Brooks if this year he enjoyed any birthday presents in particular. It's those ladies who, who left all that red stuff on your face. Oh. Oh, the, the Victor Bell. You like all those kisses? Yeah, oh, oh yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um. And many more. <laughs> what an assignment, right? Yeah. After, after the war, Lawrence Brooks worked as a forklift operator and eventually retired at the age of 70. That's already four wow. decades ago, right? He had five kids, two of whom he outlived. 13 grandchildren and 22 great grandchildren. I have to tell you, his daughter, who's 60 years old, yeah. she's getting married in December. Whoa. He promised to walk her down the aisle. Wow. Oh, God. Oh. Of hair. Wow. Yeah. Full head. Yeah. And very coherent. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting at 110, <laughs> yeah. but I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. He's very, He's so very with focused. it. An incredible so sense with of it. humor. He, he actually says his hearing is so good that people yell. <laughs> and he has to tell them to quiet yeah. down. I hear you fine. I want to say long live Lawrence Brooks, but he's already lived really long. <laughs> right? That's you know? really nice. And yeah. he plans to live a lot longer, too. That's great. Really nice. Thank you, Michelle.